computer. And we go. Okay, I think everybody is on here now. I'm sure other people will be joining too. So I am super excited about this call tonight because we're going to talk about so much stuff. And um, we just got back from the Cincy family reunion. So I wanted to start out by there was a couple of people who was going to volunteer their aha moments from reunion to share with you guys um, that were on here. So if you want to go ahead and start doing that, that would be great. And I think we were going to start with who was it Shannon Hormel I think you were going to do it first if that's okay with you can you unmute and bring you yeah wait, let me find you hold on so I can get you are you is your camera on no hold on let me turn it on I'm looking rough that's okay <laughs> oh, oh where did you go hold on I find you there's a lot of people on here. It's really good. Because I want okay, there we go. All right. Um, there you go. All right. You want to share with us your aha moment from reunion since we just got back. So um I really didn't have like a huge aha moment. Um my workshops that I broke out into, I was um I wasn't very happy <laughs> I, I don't know what I was expecting um but I will say that I am excited about the changes in the workstation because I <clears throat> try to email my customers from the workstation my own my own personal email to like keep them up to date because I have been using MailChimp and I did that and not all my emails went through even though I selected everybody and it didn't work through the workstation. So I'm excited about all the changes that is coming to the reporting and all that stuff in the workstation to help better us better serve our customers. You're muted. I think that's a really good one because so many of us have had double and duplicate customers for so long. Oh and yes, that too. And now you can actually um, go through and you can filter what it is that you want from your customer. Also, they're doing things with the team page as well. The sales reports are going to be completely different. Um, I think everyone who joins new is going to be delighted about how easy this is. And everyone who's been on here for a while is going to absolutely love the changes. So Yeah, I was struggling a little bit today trying to find some stuff because it's changed. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. today was a little bit of a struggle, but I think, yeah, once we figure out what we have to do and get it to where it'd be nice but today was a little bit of a struggle <laughs> yeah well they changed the team stuff too so I hope you guys got your emails because I had to figure out all the email stuff today and and I was calling Michelle and I'm like where's the 50 to 100 to 250 thing and she's just like they don't have it anymore it just scrolls I'm like oh man so it's nice because they have the filtering that you can just filter out what you want to see and you don't want to see so yeah, uh, yeah. I, I saw that and I was like oh that's how I've got a Mm -hmm. figure stuff. and I saved it because th there's an option to save but I don't know where that report saved at like I didn't go they, back to they see of course somewhere in the bottom very very bottom as you go down okay down okay so it's pretty cool okay um who else wants to share with us um Marcy do you want to give us an aha moment I know she was there I didn't get to see who wanted to, or if anyone, you can unmute yourself. And I want to hear those um, moments because you always have to be there in order to really experience what that kind of an event is like. So here we go. Oh, I know that um, Sarah, let's start with you because I can't figure out where everybody is. My Zoom updated to Michelle. Okay, Sarah, go ahead and you want to share with everybody? Yeah, I can go ahead and share. Um, if you hear kids screaming in the background, it's because they're going to bed. So, um, uh, you can go ahead and talk. I don't think you have a video in, but that's okay. I can put on video, it's fine. If you see Ray Lynn come up, you know, it's that's what it is. Um, so my big aha 
moment, I, I can't remember who was speaking it, um, but they said, you choose your happiness. And um, I've been struggling with that a lot lately. And I almost didn't go to his seat. Everybody meet my daughter. Shannon already knows her. Um, and so does Annette. Um, and I was struggling with that. I almost didn't go to SFR um, because of some things. And, um, okay, go to bed. Okay, good night to everybody. I'm on a meeting. Okay. Anyway, um, so when they were speaking about you choose your happiness and um, what you do to make that happen, um, that's when I decided that when I got back, I needed to choose my happiness. I needed to choose what I had to focus on to make that happen. And I've already started doing it and I've started implementing it. And, um, and one of the things that I came up with for that was um, I wanted to make a packet for all of my team members that were wanting to work their business finally after coming back from SFR because they saw all my photos and, and everything. And um, and so I've been working on that and I'm super excited about it. And it's gonna have the top 100 and it's gonna have the enchanted cracker and a few other things. And I'm gonna mail that out to them so that they can get a junk start on their business. And um, since coming back, I've had three people reinstate. I've had one person that, I have another one that's gonna reinstate today or tomorrow. I I mean, I went to Starbucks today and I, it was the lady asked me how my trip was. I told her how it was and I was like, you need to think about this and she and give me a call, or contact me. She goes, I definitely will. Like I'm super excited and it sounds like fun. So I gave her my business card and she's gonna contact me and add me on Facebook and show my my happiness is when I put it into my people. It's when I put it into my team. Thank you, baby. And how excited they are. And and I have people that came back. Riley came back, and she's super excited to get her business going. So that is my takeaway from it: is choosing your happiness and not letting anyone else um, take control of that. And it's neat because we had a happiness challenge. The lady came in and just basically said happiness is a choice. And she mm -hmm. went through many stories, but she gave us a, a happiness. I don't know if you guys can see this. Probably can't. There it is. Mm -hmm. Happiness I challenge. And you can check okay. oh. that number and you will end up getting a happiness journal and mm -hmm. all kinds of um, different challenges to be able to find your happiness. And the text, you can still um, text it is you text the word awesome to 66866. So um, it was really, really good. So thank you for sharing that um, with us, Sarah. Um, Michelle just said she would and um, share yeah. one of her aha moments. So I'm going to bring her on here. And you guys can just text me if you want to go next, because I think I, in the beginning, I was having a hard time seeing everyone. And we'll take a couple more. All right, Michelle, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. I'll find you. Bye. Gotcha. Go ahead. Okay. I think for me, um, one of my aha moments was I'm, I'm very visual and I told Shannon about this. So I was like, this is like a light bulb for me. Um, I'm very visual. And I went to one of the um, training sessions from one of the SSDs and she talked about when we first got in, she was like, I want you to write down um, five things that um, you want to do in order to get to superstar director. OK, because ultimately we all want to get to hopefully we all want to get to the top of this business. Um, but um, I know I do. So this totally resonated with me. She said, write down five things you want to do to get to superstar director. And then she said, of those five things, and she asked a lot of people, so I wrote down a lot of different things. Um, she asked a lot of people, um, okay, so PRV has to be something, your 500 PRV has to be something that you have to have if you're gonna be any type of leader and get to superstar director. Um, so out of your 500 PRV, how are you gonna get 500 PRV? So write down five ways to get 500 PRV. 
And then um, in order to also be a leader and to climb up to superstar director, you're gonna have to sponsor. So write down five different things that you can do to sponsor somebody. Um, so you write down all of these things. And once you do that, what she said to do was take little buckets. She had little buckets up there. I haven't got mine yet, but I'm gonna get some. Um, she said, take little buckets and where you wrote those out, take the scissors and cut out little strips of paper with your five things on them. Okay, so you can do more. You can write down more. Like I wrote down a whole bunch because I took notes from everybody, what everybody was saying to incorporate in there. Um, but you take those uh, those moments or whatever it's going to take for you to get to whatever you need, like your 500 PRV bucket, your sponsoring bucket, um, your party bucket, whatever it's going to take for you. You put those little strips in there. And each day when you go to work your business, you pull one strip out of each one of those buckets, okay? So one strip out of each one of those buckets and you do that task, all right? So if you have one that takes a little bit longer than maybe 15, 20 minutes, and you know it's gonna be a while for you to do that one, then you write 15, 20 minutes on the piece of paper, roll it back up and put it back in the bucket because you're not finished with that task. And one thing she said to do was to throw away your task whenever you're finished with it. But I told Shannon, I said, I'm such a visual person I'm going to get me one of those um, frames, you know, that you can like wine corks, whatever you want to put in it or put your money in it to go on vacation or whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to get me one of those clear glass frames that you can st stick stuff down in two dollars or banks or whatever. And I'm going to put on there my journey to SSD. And instead of throwing away those little pieces of paper that I've done and I've checked off, I'm gonna take those papers and I'm gonna put them back in to that um, frame that lets me know this is what my journey was on my way to SSD. So whenever I do get there, I can open up that frame and I can see all the things that it took for me to get to be an SSD or get, it doesn't have to be an SSD. It can be whatever goal you want it to be. If you want to just, you know, get to star, or you wanna to get to, to director, you know, and you wanna start there and you, get greater than just take those little things, those little tasks, put them on a piece of paper and put them in a bucket and just do one of those tasks each day. So you could have up to three, four, five buckets, whatever it's going to take for you to get to. Um, I know that we, uh, Shannon's talked a lot about doing the five by five. That could be five buckets that you can do. Um, and you can have your little five buckets there where you talk to five people today about the joint opportunity. You talk to five people today about hosting, you know, or whatever. Um, you reach out and message five people for follow up, you know, however you want to do that, you know, take those little moments, cut them in little strips, put them in the buckets and do one of those each day and then take that strip once you finish it and put it into your ultimate goal frame little thingy. I'll show it to you whenever I do mine. I'm going to do mine this weekend. But whenever you do that, that not only helps you to see your journey, it also helps you go, you know, go into your journey knowing that you've worked hard to really get to what you want, because this business is going to have to take some blood, sweat and tears to be able to do what you want to do in this business. It's not going to come to you. You know, your team's not going to automatically say, oh, my God, I'm going to join your team and I'm going to work and I'm going to put in three thousand dollars. It's not going to do that. You know, if you might have that one diamond in the rough, but you're going to have to work to get to where you want to go and you can't ever stop working. So once you get to where you're going and you get to director, then all right, put a star up above that, star director. This is where you want to be for star director. Take all those out and put them in a thing, you know, and start over uh, on the whole brand new one to get to star director. But don't ever stop chasing your dreams and don't ever stop working your business because this is like a, you know, just a thing that you can work for forever and you can do your business and you can have fun at it but you can also see the progress that it takes to be able to do that. So that was my total aha moment. I added a little bit to hers because she just had buckets and then she threw the paper away, but I wanted to see what I did to be able to get to the point where I'm going to get on my frame. So that was my aha moment. You're muted. Thank you. That was awesome. I, when you told me about it, I was like, yes visual that's perfect because instead of just checking it off we can actually move it from like jar to jar so I really love that okay Marcy wants to share now so let me bring her up here 
and then Annette might want to share, and then we're going to um, jump straight into what we have to share about, unless um, Casey or anybody else wants to share, if you have anything that, like, really sticks out. All right, Marcy, go ahead and unmute yourself so that you can share. I'm unmuted. Okay. I had several aha moments. Um, some of them came from the leadership group that I was sneaked into, and I'm trying to find the quote that I I loved. I'll have to find it in a minute. But I think one of the things that really, really hit home with me was when one of the directors, star director, superstar director, she was the lady in the wheelchair that spoke during the same time you spoke in the um, sound bites. And I cannot remember her name, but the, it was Delinda. Delinda. Okay. That's who I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. But um, her husband had either lost his job or his hours had been cut and they were barely scraping by and an acquaintance started selling Scentsy. And I don't remember if it was coworker, her daughter's friend, but she started selling Scentsy and Delinda would smell everything, but she didn't dare try to buy because she didn't have the money and she didn't want to have a party. So the daughter decided to host a party. Well, guess where she had it at? Delinda's house. So she hosted the party and they had like a thousand dollars in sales. And um, the consultant was talking to Delinda's daughter about joining. Delinda's daughter was adamantly turning it down, saying she didn't want to do it. Well, Delinda started listening and she ended up joining. And now I think she may be a superstar director. I, I honestly cannot remember, but um, it really and truly got her, she and her husband through the hurdle of finances at that time. And, um, you know, she just, she got the $99 kit and ran with it. But you never know who's listening. When you're sharing, you never know who's listening. I loved it because um, she talked about that they had offered the kit to her daughter and her daughter didn't want it. And she's like, ah! but yeah. I have her YouTube video. I have the whole video, so we'll have to share it. Okay. Yeah, the, it was an amazing um, testimony, and it's one that I would love for her to come onto my team page and share. I'm sure. And she um, I'm trying to find the one that I think it was Dan shared, and then I'll I'll give my time back to y'all. Um, and I'm probably not going to be able to find it. Let's see. It may have been further up this way. Okay, I'm not going to be able to find it, and I don't want to take up everyone's time. But um, that was one of my biggest ahas was, you know, just she was broke, couldn't afford a Scentsy Warmer. Her daughter ended up giving her some of the free stuff because Delinda took, I forgot that part. She took the basket party part of it to work and gathered, I think, like five or $600 worth of orders just there. And, um, you know, the hostess never offered it to her. She offered it to the daughter. And um, whenever the daughter kept adamantly turning it down, she ended up taking it yeah so anyway that's oh, mine I love it Annette do you want to share anything no okay um was there anyone who went for the first time that's on here let's see okay Deborah I would love to hear yours um your take Autumn's on. also a first timer I know I'm trying to she's trying to get her volume I'm talking to everybody here trying to help them while we're doing this okay go ahead um, <clears throat> the whole thing was an aha moment for me. I, I can't even pick one thing. It was absolutely everything. Um, I did attend a SSFR virtually, which was, yeah, you know, I mean, it was great, but, um, nothing like being there in person. And what motivated me to go was an email that I got because this year was my fifth year anniversary with Sensi, um, saying that, you know, they'd love to honor me for that achievement with a walk across the stage. So I thought, well, that's cool. Oh, so, well, little did I know um, that when we all lined up back in the room before going backstage, that they had like all the staff lining an aisle back there and they were cheering for us and they were clapping for us and they were high-fiving us 
and it was just such an amazing feeling because it's, it really overwhelmed me at first because I wasn't expecting any of it. You know, I just figured they would say, okay, you know, you guys line up here, you guys line up there and we would be on our way. But it was so much more than that. And I know everyone says it and you have to experience it to believe it. The Sensi family is real. And that just filled my cup. I don't know how else to put it. It filled my cup. Um, by being there and experiencing that. And of course, the walk across the stage was the best, <laughs> the highlight of it all. Um, but just everything, the speakers that, um, I'm trying to think of her name now, the motivational speaker. Um, I can't remember her name, sorry. But she was awesome. Natalie. Every, she, her name was every word she said rang true. And um, all the giveaways were amazing seeing almost 7,000 people in that room all at one time out of their minds excited over the the whole event it was like I said it was just all of it I can't really put my finger on one thing it was absolutely everything and I am going to Orlando it's like how can I miss one now <laughs> right exactly I've been bitten exactly. by the bugs so. <laughs> that's good well yeah. cool well, if anybody else wants to share anything, um, we'll get it at the end. Um, we're going to go ahead and move in to how we can have success in the fall. And um, I am going to share my screen to show you guys what we have here. And then we will go into it. So give me one second. See if it will come up. Okay. Move all my stuff over. Okay. okay. Can everyone see this? Okay. Make sure everyone can see my screen. So we are in transition month. And transition month is a really cool month because you're able to really serve your customers with a 10% off on the catalog on some of the items in the catalog. Things get discontinued. It's a great way for you to build your monthly club because you're able to reach out to people and say, oh my gosh, if you loved this scent, you know, it's going away, but they can make it forever for you if you go into your club. Um, so I usually build my clubs pretty big during transition month. Um, another thing about transition is so funny because I've gone through like, what, I don't even know now. I would say 13 of them, but we've actually had two a year. So it seems like 26 of them, which is crazy. But um, they have the new season sales kits up already. If you guys want to get ahead and get some of these products before they come out September 1st that you can actually sample. Um, some people like to get the kit, so they'll already have some things for display if they do home parties. And I say home parties because home parties are coming back. I have gone back to 13 years ago and 12 years ago and started contacting hosts who did parties for me and asked them if they would be interested in helping me relaunch home parties. And some of them have said yes. So don't discount people saying no for home parties. During the fall, people love to get together. And with everything opening up in the last, you know, half a year to a year, people are really craving that connection. If you were at Cincy Family Reunion, you would have seen people hug who haven't seen people in years and just cry. I know I, I hadn't seen Robin in four years and she hugged my neck and I just started crying um, because you don't realize how much, see, I almost started crying thinking about it. You don't realize the connection you were missing. And so when these people come into their home, they get to experience a whole new way of showing their friends value, their family value, sitting and smelling and bringing back memories through scent. And I'm super excited about being able to do this. So you can see we have our home season sales kit also. Now you get PRV for these. So if you wanted to just be active already, you could go in and you could get the home season sales kit and the clean kit and you would have your $200 in PRV. That is one thing I love it since you started doing this because they didn't have this for years after I joined where we had to wait until September 1st to be able to get our products. And then sometimes shipping took forever and we didn't get it till like the end of September. 
So now they're giving us an opportunity to get these things before the catalog even comes out to be able to make samples out of, to be able to share, to be able to, you know, show people um, demos and all those things. So they have the um, transition kit. As you can see, the testers and the winner transition set is $17.60, but they have bundled it together for you guys. And you can see at the bottom here, it says United States English Transition Business Tools Kit, and it's $60, so sixty three forty PRV. And you can see that you can buy your tools kit here, and it would give you your stickers, your product list, your showcase brochures, your catalogs, and your tester set. Um, so it really is a great opportunity for you guys to go ahead and just get the bundle instead of picking and choosing that you want so many showcase brochures, you want so many, you know, catalogs or so many tester sets. Um, one thing that we got to do that was so interesting and um, I did not bring it with me in here. I don't think. Maybe somebody, while I'm talking, you guys can grab your Art of Fragrance training kit if you have it, because I did not bring mine in here with me, and I don't want to take time to go get it. So if you have it, we're going to spotlight you and explain what it is, because um, I'm super excited about this, because a lot of our customers ask us about the scents. Where do they come from? What are they made out of? How do they come up with these scents, right? Are they... You know, are they like Walmart or Hallmark or Home Goods or whatever? We actually have the science behind the fragrance. They took us into classes and showed us how they did the base notes, how they did the mid notes, how they did the top notes. They took us through something called scent, which is where we could actually figure out what it reminded of us, the emotion that came with it, um, the texture of it, showed us how they write descriptive um, meanings behind it. So I'll show you what that is in a second when somebody gets theirs out. Um, so the most important thing, okay, cool. So Annette, you have yours out. Let me see if it will um, let you explain it to them real quick, what it is. All right, I'll, I'll come back to this in a second. Go ahead and tell them what it is. You should be good. Oh, you got to unmute yourself. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to go really quick with it. They gave us the set of testers that were different. It's called the Art of Fragrance. As you all know, we have top notes, mid notes, and base notes. And these were the testers that we used. And what we had to do was go through each one of them, smell them, and then come up with our own Kind of cat, not category. What am I trying to say, Shannon? Our own description of the scent that we think it was, because my scent that I smell may be different than Shannon's. So we had to work together and come up with um, a fragrance. And what they gave us this workbook, and Shannon, I can probably print this and put it up on the page. Um, they gave us this workbook to go through with it and about smell, color, emotion, notes, and texture. That's how we had to describe it. And some of them were really funny. <laughs> and some of them were really good. But we went through citrus, um, floral, spice, fruity. And we, like I said, we had to come up with our own fragrance. But it's really neat is because I never realized what it took to come up with a fragrance. And so now I understand it a little bit more. So, and if you get this and you can buy the kit in the Sensi store, yep. it's worth it. It's just so that you can familiarize yourself with the different notes so that if somebody does ask you about it, you can kind of describe it. Because look, I've been doing this for Shannon 14 years and that's the first time I ever did any of that. So, but it's, it's neat and it's, it's worth spending the money and getting to learn it a little bit because you're customers will be intrigued with the idea of and look you could do this as a training thing with your team you can actually do this as a little get together with some of your customers they would probably have a great time doing that and come up with their own scent like we use mixology this would be so cool for them 
I think that the, I think you're do a party, get everybody to come to your house, you know, and do something like that. I think they'd really like it, but you can purchase it in the um, Scentsy store. Thank you. And it's only $13. Mm -hmm. You can see it up here on mm -hmm. the screen. It's $13 and it's so worth it because your customers would be blown away. I know because, for example, just to stay on this for one second, I smelled citrus and I smelled oranges. And Marcy and Daryl and Daryl was like, I smell like my grandmother's house, the orange that she used to clean with. And I'm like, me too. And then Nets like, I smell lemons. I smell Jesse's lemonade. <laughs> so it was neat to listen to different people saying what it reminded them of. And so then when they wrote the description, it just really spoke to what it was, the experience that they were having. So I do encourage you to get this so that you can kind of take yourself through the training. It doesn't, it's not hard. And also be able to do it with your customers. Okay, next one. So this is a list of all of our discontinued um, scents and also our discontinued products. You can go into your workstation. I also put it on the group page today that you can see that bubbled iridescent. I can't believe they're taking it away. That is a top seller of mine. And so it's a I know. church. The little church is a, a definitely one that um, we sell a lot of also. But you can go through and you can see a lot of these, um, the scents, the bars, the circles, the room sprays, all the flowers. And you need to go through your customers and see who has ordered this stuff before. So you can let them know that scent's going away. If you go into your workstation and go into sales reports, you can find people underneath the scent that you're looking for, the customers that have bought that scent and let them know, oh my gosh, you know, whether leather is, wow. Well, the leather is going away. Did I read that right? Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's sad. So anyway, you would just have to let them know that those things are going away. So um, that's in your workstation. And that tells you every single thing you need to know um, about what will not be coming back. Okay. Some new things that are coming. Um, this collage, Michelle actually put it together for me. But you can see that we have Disney um lots and lots and lots of ltos that are coming out holiday things um we are going to have a big big fall guys there is no excuse for you guys not to be able to promote not to be able to really get the paychecks that you need to be able to just get an extra pair of shoes or pay a car payment or whatever it is that you save up for reunion next year because people are going to be wanting these things these things are completely different than anything you can get from your regular department store. We've got the Harry Potter lovers, the um, villains lovers for the queen and the princesses. We've got Mickey Mouse lovers. As you can see down in the corner, we have Mickey Mouse in the sled for Christmas. And we also have a Mickey Mouse pumpkin for harvest. So some of your friends or your uh, customers that are Disney lovers, you just need to let them know. Your Harry Potter lovers, you can see Harry Potter butter, butter. Harry Potter, how do you say that? Wait a minute, Harry Potter buddy <laughs> it's a tongue twister harry potter buddy that's coming out and you can see the hogwarts warmer is coming out as well and it's in snow so it looks a lot like the one before but this one actually is snow themed around it um there is a warmer that um mexico is just putting out that we actually had made in mexico that's super excited um and then um does anybody have their pod, their fan pod? I left all my stuff out there. If, if you have your fan pod, I want you to bring it out and we're going to show um, everybody on here what we got from convention free. Um, but they just came out with a tabletop fan pod um, that is going to be huge um, for us to sell. And then you can see Friends is coming out on Monday. So if you are a friends fanatic or you have friends that are friends fanatics that's going to be a great warmer that's going to come out um they'll have the harvest brochure that will come out soon and then we'll also have the holiday brochure that will come out soon that you guys can buy but um as you can see down here we have different flowers that are coming out we even had a flower that's going to be which is so cool um it's a disney flower for the villains so it's going to turn the color of the villain so ursula would be blue the Snow Queen would be red, and then um, Maleficent is purple, maybe. But as the flower starts to saturate with all the oil, and then the oil's gone, it turns black. 
So kind of like the flowers would for a villain. So that's kind of cool they have that. And then the sunflowers. The sunflowers actually are another one of the um, sunflowers or Gerber daisies are going to be another one that's coming out. So you guys can see a lot of the things. Um, the breast cancer warmer, as you guys can see here, is coming out. And then we also have the one that has a heart that's in the middle. And that's going to be the one for like fostering and adopting. And the different light bulbs you can put in it actually means different things. So they have put a lot of thought into our fall collections that are going to be coming out. A lot of LTOs, um, I think that it, they know for a fact that people do like to buy whenever they know that it might not last long. So um, my best advice to you is never, 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 never take orders early or money until you know you've got that warmer in your hand because we do not know how fast things will sell out we do not know if they'll be around for a while the best thing for you to do is to get your website in people's hand and into their text messaging into their emails let them know when it's going live let them go into the queue because I don't want you over promising things most likely we're going to be able to get these. They said that they shouldn't have a problem with these, but I'm just telling you going into the fall season, you want these customers to be loyal to you. You don't want to start out by overpromising and not being able to deliver. Okay. All right. Um, then I can't see which one that one is. What is that one? Oh, there's like a little Christmas house over here on the right hand side that's super cute it's part of the village and then there's another one of the fan pods so who has their fan pod out so we can show everybody what that is i know somebody did i saw somebody go was it sarah Shannon, and i have mine okay go ahead and um let me stop this again for a second and who's saying that it's me Brittany. okay hold on i want you to show <clears throat> it to everybody so you can see, guys, what's coming out. Uh, Brittany, Brittany, where are you? Okay, go ahead. And I should have you up here in a second. Um, no, there you are. Okay. Go ahead and show us what you got there. All right. Clean that off so I can get the fuzz off. Okay. So it's a ceramic tabletop diffuser. Is the lighting okay? Can y'all actually see that? So thump, thump it. Is it plastic or ceramic? Ceramic. Here, hold on. Somebody was asking. Okay. Do it. it is kind of hard. <laughs> but, and then you can put your pods in there. And then it does come with a much longer USB cord than what the mini fans come with, guys. Very, very helpful. You can use any pods or anything in it and um, that we have already. And they're going to come in three different colors, right? Uh, two. The other okay. one is blue and the white with the stripes going around it. And then we have the pumpkin one coming out okay. for okay. Halloween. Yep. And then the white one. So, guys, this is going to be a big seller. People who don't like to clean up wax and they've been waiting for these um, tabletop pods, this is it. This is what people have been waiting for. So thank you for sharing that. There's a You're Christmas welcome. Too, Shannon. Yes. There's a Christmas one too with a little gingerbread on it that's coming off. So. Okay, I couldn't find that picture. Um, yes, it's going to be just like our gingerbread um, with, one that was on the side. Isn't that yeah. right? Yeah. And um, it's going to be so cute too. So these are going to be really, really big sellers. Okay, let's go back to our little thing I had here. And let me get it over here. Uh -oh. Okay, present. Go back to presenting and we'll move to the next thing. Okay, so this, and I have this on our team page as well, on our group page, is actually giving you all the important dates and launches that are going to be happening. That way you guys won't be surprised. You won't be like, oh, I didn't know. Um, they are on the page. You can see that you can get the new season sales kits and supplies today, just like I was talking about. August is going to be your 10% off sale. It's a great time for people to have transition parties where I give people a basket party. 
about the middle of the month, whenever I get my new cents as well, they go ahead and get orders that are going away. And they also get orders that are going to be coming out in September 1st. So I can front load my calendar in um, September. It's a great way for you to be able to flip parties as well. Um, whenever you start getting out those cents early so that whenever they join, if they want to do the $99 kit, um, they can actually put them in themselves or you can flip it to them, which we're going to get to that part in a minute. So I want you guys to see all of the things and all of these dates and write them down in your calendar so that you will not forget them. And when those days happen and when they come out, you'll be ready for them. Okay. Now, this is our August promotion for our host kit and um, join kits. You can see the $99 join kit. It has the classic curve gray warmer, but they're also, they're going to substitute it with the witch um, scent of the month. I mean, warmer of the month, warmer, um, which I had a picture of her on here somewhere. Um, but anyway, there's the Scentsy bar, the hand cream, the car bar, the tester set, and all the things that usually come in it. And then you have your Erna kit is the $59 one with the same things. But the difference this month is the fact that they're going to give you those five harvest collection um, bars that we got at Reunion Free. And super cute. They smell so good. And it's a great incentive for people to be able to join. So um, I wanted you guys to make sure you knew that the join kits are going to have extra things in them this month. Are there any questions about that? So now we're going to move to the good Shannon, stuff. Shannon, I did. Yeah. I had a. I had a question about the the join kit. Okay. So they don't do they they don't get both of the warmers. They just get one or the other. Michelle, isn't or Annette, isn't that right? Didn't they say they're going to give them the warmer of the month instead of the gray, as while supplies last? I think they get both warmers. They're gonna get both of them. I think the um, just for the ninety nine dollar join kit, you're gonna get the witch gnome warmer, which is the warmer of the month for next month. Um, yeah. Along with the harvest brochures, and along with this little basket, this little thing that has the five fall bars in it, you're gonna get this um, little bag also, and that's in addition to the ninety nine dollar join kit. Kit. Okay. Yeah. And then for the little one, so for the reinst like reinstatement or host kits, do they they get one or the other? No. So for the reinstatement, they just get the classic curve. They get the harvest brochures, and they get the little bag with the five fall um, wax uh, bars yep. into it, in addition okay. to the regular kit. Okay, okay. And the twenty-nine dollar one. They're going to get both warmers. I thought that they had said they're going to give the. Uh, warmer of the month while supplies last and then if you look at the um picture that you had posted earlier she's in the back they didn't put her in there very good they didn't she's, put her in, she's in the she's very back, back right behind that little kit yes i see her and, and yeah, you can the fragrance kit too the art of fragrance as well mm -hmm. with that kit yes. too oh, okay wow. i do see her they needed to move her i'm they gonna definitely need to put her on the left in front of the green plant or something okay i see the little bag on the other one now yeah, so a lot of people were saying that today on the page that they thought that it was um, one or the other. So now that I see that, I'm going to let them know. Okay, perfect. Thank you. If you take a different picture at home office, that would be amazing because you mm -hmm. can't see her at all. No, you can't. Right. You Put can't. her on the shelf or something. Right. <laughs> Put her on the And the bag of um, bars. Unless they're just trying to give a sneak peek and not put her all out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, they should put her all out there. That, her all out there. That alone is probably like a what fifty-five or sixty-dollar warmer. So I figured fifty. I mean, just the um, witch and those five bars. That's an roughly eighty-dollar value. That's yeah. a good deal, man. That's a really, really good deal. So they that's so they I'm... do get the bars and the brochures in the in the um, host kit, right? The I just want to make sure I'm telling people the right things. The bars, yes, you do get the bars. Okay, and then the, the harvest brochures. I don't think they get the brochures. I think None. you just get the five. I don't, from my understanding, you just got the five bars and that was it. For the okay. host kit. For the host kit. Right. Yeah, for the okay. $59 kit. Yeah, okay. that's what I understood too, because we were trying to figure out about the warmer. 
a lot of people were trying to discuss it today whenever it came out. So right. she was and so hide and seek. I didn't see her. <laughs> and well, so the, then, go ahead. I'm I was sorry. just going to say the list on here, you get the warmer, the regular bar, the um, hand cream, car bar, um, the transition mm -hmm. tester set. No, actually, it's the fall winter fragrance tester set. Consultant mm -hmm. guide, product training guide, fall catalogs, um, product list, the host join brochures and order forms, but I don't see the um, harvest brochures either. Right. I copied it straight from the website. So. So. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll we'll look into that and we'll post it after. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the trip. How many of you guys raise your hand if you want to go on the trip? Oh, yo, me. <laughs> and Daryl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely want to go to Hawaii. So you can see here that they have now put out the tracker and it's 15,000 points to go and get your two piece set of Cincy luggage. So if you just want the luggage, all you need is 15,000 points. If you want a trip for one to, um, a, is that Oahu? Oahu or Orlando? Then you need 33,000 points and 5,400 sponsoring points. And then if you want the trip to two, you need 60,000 points and 9,600 sponsoring points. And then you want to be in the top 50 out of the whole company, you can go to Bora Bora. So okay, I got so a question different. about the sponsoring points. Okay. Dan said last night, and I think, I mean, I'm sure he probably misspoke, but there's there's different, there's conflict between what Dan said and what's on the workstation. So last night in the live, Dan said, you sponsor one, you get a thousand. The second one, you get 1500. The third, he said, you get 3000, but the workstation is showing 2000. Yes, I know that. I don't know what they're going to do about that. As of right now, they've put the tracker out and they haven't backpedaled on what he said. So they, they, they um, realize that he missed those though. They, oh yeah. They, they okay. posted it earlier today, Shannon. Home okay. office did say that it is 2000 points afterwards. Well, you're getting ready to go over the tracker. So I'm getting ready to give Michelle the spotlight because she made us a tracker to be able to explain it to us. And yeah, um, I didn't know what home, I didn't know what had came back, if anything had came back from home office about the, the difference. It I have a question. 3, Go ahead. Um, it's on the PRV consistency. It says $2,000. Does that mean their consistency means we have to put $2,000 in every month or just be consistent at 500 or 1,000 or whatever? I can explain it, Shannon. Yeah, okay. I'm getting ready to show. It's a little bit different than I remember it being in the past. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, Michelle, are you ready? Yep. I'm going to keep the chart up so everybody can follow it, okay? I don't know why that's... It, when you get this PDF, all those are lined up. That's that's just really annoying me. So every little thing is inside of those blocks. I don't know why that moved up like that. Oh, I don't um, know I did that either. Okay, so the first one up there is PRV. So for every PRV that you get in the month, um, in each one of those months, and my months are messed up on that one too. I don't know, but anyhow. Okay, for every PRP that you get, um, you get one point for that, okay? Um, next year, um, in January and February, if you attend World Tour, then you're going to get 500 points for that, okay? So that's up there. That's the... That's one of the years is all messed up. I don't know what that is. No, I, I don't know why. That's how it came over. I'll see if I can do another one. But go ahead and do it and I'll look at it. Okay. Um, you're going to get 500 points. Um, for the consistency for PRV, so you have to have $1,000, 1000 PRV or more five out of the six months, and you're going to get 1,500 points this time. Okay, that's a change from last time because last time in the past, we used to get 2,500 points if we had the consistency of 1,000 PRV, five out of the six months, okay? So you have to have 1,000 PRV, five out of the six months, and then at the end of that, you'll get your, or once you hit that on the fifth month, um, you'll get your 1,500 bonus points for that. Um, 
this is something new that they've added on. So now let's just say you're a new person joining. And I love this, that they gave the opportunity for new people joining. Um, if you hit sensational start um, during your um, incentive you period, if you join, yeah, there you go. So if you join and you hit sensational start in your um, um, this period, for level one, you're going to get a thousand points. For level two, you're going to get two thousand points, and for level three, you're going to get five thousand points. So this is going to be really adaptable for our new people coming to know that if they reach those goals, first of all, level three, you're already going to have at least three thousand PRV in sponsoring two people, or you're going to have six thousand PRV your own self to hit level three for sensational start. So if you do that, you're gonna get an additional 5,000 points. So they're already way over 10,000 points in, um, in their journey to earning this incentive if you are a brand new consultant, which I love that. Um, the next thing is gonna be your personal promotion. So all the way from certified to superstar director, if you promote to certified, you're gonna get a thousand points personally for doing that. Um, if you promote to lead, you're going to get 1,500 points for doing that. If you promote to star, you're going to get 2,000 points. Superstar consultant, 3,000 points. Director is 5,000 points. Um, star director is 8,000 points. And superstar director is 10,000 points. So um, those are going to be your um, personal promotions that are on there. And that's up underneath the world tour thing there. Hey, I have a question about those. Okay. Um, so I was director like a couple years ago. If I re-hit director during this stuff, does that count for that or wouldn't? I don't think it counts for that. It has to be your first right. time at one of those. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, so activity bonus points. Those are, okay, so, so let me explain those a little bit to you because a lot of people don't really understand about those. So your activity, and that's why I put that on there, activity bonus is the title you are paid at each month, okay? So as you are putting in your 500 PRV and you know your team is working and you get to lead status, and the, let's just say I'm a star director. So as my I'm working and I'm putting in my stuff, and my team puts in their stuff and our numbers are building over the next few days. Um, when I get my 500 in and I'm paid at lead, then I'm gonna get the activity bonus for lead, which is okay. Once my numbers creep up and I get to star consultant, then that $100 is gonna to change to $300. It's not, it's not com uh, combined all together, it's for whatever um, title you in the month that okay so if you don't get paid at title then it's whatever title you're going to end the month that so here is where it's crucial for you guys to at least put in your 500 prv and get your leadership titles because when you get your leadership titles then you're going to get a little bit of extra points depending on what you are um, ranked in um, the system so Putting in that 500 PRV, like that, that's really, really crucial, especially working. Go for a thousand because you want that consistency. But if you want to get these activity points, you're going to have to be paid at a title at the end of the month. Okay. So, like, through, you'll see that number change throughout until you get to, like, I'm a star director. It'll get to, like, where I'm star director paid a title. That's where it'll max out unless I get a promotion. So, you'll see that inching up, but not being like, a, not like 100. And then you get 300 and that combines to 400. It doesn't do it like that. It's per title of whatever you are paid at, all right, at the end of the month. Um, and then you also get um, as a sponsor, okay, and this is another thing that I love that's new now. As a sponsor, if you are working with the people that you're sponsoring and um, you're getting them to shooting star and you're getting them to sensational start. If you get your people to sensational start in the first 70 days, level one is 500 points for you. Level two is a thousand points for you. And if they reach level three, that's 3000 points for you. So this pays to be a good leader, okay? This pays to be somebody that's gonna be following up with these people. Don't just bring these people on and say, hey, 
I'm sorry, I'm too busy for you. You gotta, you gotta fly by the night and just look at the team page and do what you gotta do. You gotta work with these people in order to get them trained up to where they're gonna hit these levels. Cause number one, it's gonna benefit them. They're gonna get the points for that. And they're gonna see that make, earning an incentive when they first join a company is totally doable. And number two, you're gonna get rewarded for those people that are hit shoot a uh, sensational start because you're gonna get the bonus points for those also for them hitting one, two or three. Um, if you have somebody currently, um, the she has a thousand, two thousand for level two and three on their sponsor. No, sensational start personally. That's for if you like this is yours and you're getting ready to hit sensational start. You do get a thousand, two thousand, and three thousand. Um, but sponsor and your teammate earn sensational start is 500, 1,000, and 200. So there's, um, there's, there's two of them on there, okay? Michelle, does that count as like, like kind of like what your paid at title would be? It doesn't count all, like every level is separate. You get points for every level or it just goes up if you hit that level. It, whatever level you hit for your activity bonus that's what i was saying is whatever level you're hitting so as you go to whatever title you are the you'll notice the tracker it tracks that and makes sure nice. that you're one so it'll level but, out at the end of the month right but for the for the sensational start ones do, would you get one two and three no you would just it would just be up to the for whichever one you hit Yes. So right. if you okay. get to level three, you're going to get 3,000 points, not 6,000. Okay, right. All right. I want to make sure that I was hearing it right. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's going to be the personally one is for your team, for you, if you're just joining and you're getting, you're in your 70 days and you're going to um, earn those levels. And then the sponsor and your team, you earn sensational start. That's for like me, if I sponsor somebody and um, they're already going to earn sensational start, I get points for that also um they've never shop. done that before that's amazing they have never yeah. done that before there's gonna be a lot of beginning yeah. consultants that are going to earn this trip yep and that's amazing um, so is this only michelle is this only for consultants that sign up in august or what if i we had one i had one sign up at like the beginning of july so she's still in her 70 day period if she hits those levels will we get points for that will she get points for it it says Points for each frontline consultant who earns a sensational start level between August 1st, 2023 and June, January 31st. So if they join in their 70 days, they're still in their 70 days, then yes, it looks like they will get points for those okay. and you will. Okay, good. So as long as they're in their 70 days, whenever they hit that, this does not say they have to be sponsored in um, going in there. It just says you're sponsoring earn sensational points. It just said points for each frontline consultant who earns a sensational start. So, I mean, okay. do you agree with that, Shannon? It doesn't say that in yes, the- Yes, I agree yeah. with that because I know if they become certified between August and January, you get your certified points. And if they reinstate or if they are before August and they go certified, that's where you get the 250, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. So now if you have somebody that's like somebody um, I had joined last month, I had a new recruit last month and she's very close to certified. So before, because she did not join on August the 1st, she joined last month. When she hit certified this month, then I'm just going to get 250 points for those. She'll get a thousand point for personal promotions. But for me, because she wasn't recruited or she wasn't sponsored starting August the 1st, then I'm just going to get 250 points for that. Okay, so that's part of the tracker on there too. And that's for anybody. They could be, okay, let's just say I have a lot of certified frontline. And let's just say my certified frontline that have been um, consultants for, or I have a lot of essential. Those essential consultants that have been there for like a year or whatever, and they're finally deciding, hey, I want to work my business, and they're going to um, get their 1,000 PRV in finally, then I'm going to get 250 points, and they're going to get 1,000 points because that'll be a first-time promotion for them, okay? So it doesn't matter when they joined prior to August the 1st. You'll get 250, and they'll get 1,000 for that, okay? Um, the next is 
your frontline consultants promoting to certified. So this is something new. Used to be you sponsor somebody, they get the certified, you get a thousand points. That's how it's always been. Well, now, now they've changed it. And I think it's for the better because this is going to help us out. This is going to help make you make sure you recruit new people. Um, your first frontline who promotes to certified, you're going to get a thousand points. Okay. Your second frontline who promotes to certified, you're going to get 1500 points. And then three or more frontline who promote to certified, you get 2000 points, okay? So these are piled up on top of each other. So once you do one, you're gonna get a thousand. And when you do the next one, you're gonna get 1500 for that one. And then once you hit the third one, the third and on, you're gonna get 2000 points for those. So if you sponsor three people um, and they all hit certified, then you're gonna get, um, 4,500 points right there just for those three people. Okay, so that, that's how that works. So you're gonna, if, and anybody after that, you're still gonna get 200, 2,000 points for those. And that also- That is wild. That is wild. And, and those, those are sponsor points? Wild. Those, those are considered your yeah. sponsoring points. Sponsor you points. Have have, yeah, you have to have those sponsoring right. points for every single level now. Yeah, and they've been doing that before either. They're really going for us. Yeah. Our teams. Man, yes, that's they're crazy. Really going for so after the third, is it 2,000 per person after your third? Yes. So let's just wow. say. Oh, you, wow. Wow. If you recruited three more people, that would be, and they got the certified, that would be another 6,000. 6, wow. Yeah. That is That's crazy. Crazy. Holy cow. Right now is when you need to be having those conversations. Right now is when you need to be asking everybody, because you know what? A no is a no, and a no doesn't always stay a no. But if it, it, yep. it ain't going to hurt your feelings, don't don't get your feelings hurt if somebody tells you no, because they tell us that all the time. You're doing something right if they tell you no. Okay, so just trust me when I say that. As long as you're opening your mouth, you're building relationships, and you're talking about your business and what it's doing for you, and you're just mentioning it, not word vomiting it, mentioning it like hey i'm going to hawaii you ever wanted to go to hawaii let's do this together because it's totally doable so i gotta say and then they'll be like no i'm not doing that there's no way i can earn that then you say you know okay um i'll be you know i'll be here working my way to hawaii and i'll see i'll, I'll let you look at my pictures or whatever you know but fomo is big for people i mean it really really is i've told several people today we're going to hawaii and they're like what what and i'm like oh yes 100% I'm going to be there because I'm starting day one with opening my mouth. I've already had four or five joint conversations today and message people because I mean, all they can do is say no. You know, I got one thinking about it and one hadn't looked at her message yet. You know, so when they literally go for the no, because that means you're opening your mouth and you're talking about the business. Um, and then the last one, I forgot this today, so I had to redo this or add this on there after I sent it out. Um, the last one was frontline promotions to lead consultant. Okay, so if you have a certified consultant that sponsors one person and they both promote to lead, y'all, which is totally doable in the fall, this is like a huge thing, that's 2,500 points for each certified person that gets a buddy to work with them and then they both, they promote to a lead team. OK, have when you're presenting this and say, I just don't know if I want to have time for this and say, hey, just grab your best friend and I'll do this together, you know, sponsor them and then let them sponsor their best friend. And then all three of you work it up and build the business together because that's how they're going to be able to do it. You know, if you do it with friends, it's a whole lot easier than if you do it by yourself. And if you let them know that you're right there, you're going to help them. You're going to be there if they got any questions or anything like that. You're going to have a very successful growth in your business when you start seeing all these people joining you and, you know, learning that it, it's really fun to do, you know, and if they wanted, I have a lady that I haven't messaged yet, but I'm on Messenger tomorrow because I just updated my um, customer tracking sheet. And in the past six months, she's bought over a thousand dollars worth of Scentsy from me. So, you know what? Guess who's getting a daggone text in the morning saying, honey, you need to be paid off your own. <laughs> off of your own purchases so you know it's it's just I watched a training today and it really hit home with me this is an I like YouTube so I watch a lot of trainings and um one thing she said to me that really hit home to me was 
get to know your customers, get to know what they like and build that relationship. When I heard them say last night on, and I have a little note in my planner on the side of my planner, when somebody messages me and says, hey, if that cowboy hat ever comes back again, you let me know that. Jot their name down, cowboy hat. Hey, if Nightmare Before Christmas comes back this year, you know, I, let me know what they're gonna have. Jot their name down. I did the same thing for the Christmas, um, for the Cinderella carriage, jotted her name down about three months ago and Dern of Dan didn't say that sucker was coming back out of the vault and I messaged her this morning. I said, I am gonna be your best friend today because guess what's coming back out of the vault and she is so dang excited. But know your customers, know what they like. Now this month is the month to do your reports where you pull up and say, hey, this person ordered like, 12 or 14 bars of this particular scent that's going to be discontinued. You need to message that person and say, hey, I know you love this scent, Harbor Breeze, and it's going away. I suggest you put it in a club so you get it for the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be monthly. It can be every other month or it can even be quarterly, but you don't want to miss this scent in your life because I saw how many bars that you bought. And another thing she said, and I, I went through and I changed all of my new things. Um, I'm not gonna call mine a club anymore. I'm calling mine a rewards program because everybody loves a rewards program. Honest and true, that's just me, that's just my opinion. I would rather say that I'm in a honor in a rewards program where I, everybody does fetch. I don't know who does not do fetch, but if you don't do fetch, you are losing out on some free or some uh, uh, gift cards that you can do. Um, everybody does hotel points and hotel rewards and airline rewards and all of that. So it's a rewards program to me. And just by her changing the way she worded everything, and yeah, you can put club on your thing. And I did put club a little bit on in there, but I changed all of my wording on all of my big stuff to um, Cincy Rewards Program because they do get rewarded for it. You know, so it's all in the way you present stuff. It's all in the way you ask stuff. But now's the time that you got to get your hustle on. And I will tell you this. I never, ever earned an incentive until I started tracking it with this form. This is the form that I made years and years ago. I use this form every single incentive that we have. And I never, ever earned an incentive trip until I started tracking what I was doing on here. And even in the, um, even in the little blocks, like I put my numbers in the little blocks of where I am, but also I'm also looking into my team and seeing who's, who is like essential that is almost hitting certified. I'll write their name down in there so I know I can message them and start working with them or who's certified that's working their business that all I have to do is message them and say, hey, I see you working. Did you know you can promote to lead and start making leadership um, paychecks by doing that, by just sponsoring one person and y'all together get this much uh, PRV together? You know, so write those people's names down in those little boxes and put a C beside it or an L beside it. So, you know, if those essential consultants are working, they can promote to certified or those ones that are certified. If you see them working their business really hard and they're consistently putting in PRV, message them and say, hey, do you have a friend that can do this? You're going to get points don't make it about you don't make it about you because it ain't all about you because you wouldn't be anywhere in this business without your team or your group so don't make it about you make it say hey did you know that you can get um a thousand or two no 2500 points towards this incentive if you sponsor a friend and y'all promote to lead together as a lead team and you're working your business with a friend so you need to make sure that you are daily I'm a daily person. I'm a daily checker. I am daily in my, you can ask Shannon, every morning I wake up, I get to work, I do my numbers, I fill out my spreadsheet, I have everything going, I see where everybody is, <laughs> and um, I'm a daily number tracker, okay? So I suggest strongly that you track every single thing that you do. A lot of people might say, I don't think I can do this. This is very overwhelming. You will be surprised what you can do when you put your heart and your soul into it. OK, if this is something that you want to do, put your heart and soul into it, find different ways to do stuff. If it's PRV, that's got to be in the bottom. The reason why the form looks like that is because it's the same exact thing on the top and the same exact thing on the bottom. All right. If you look at the top, the top is what you actually did that month. 
The bottom part says projected business accomplishments. I strongly suggest you sit down tonight, look at your PRV, look at who you want to sponsor, how many people you want to sponsor a month, write this stuff out, put the numbers in there and project, project your numbers out for whatever level you want to hit. Okay, look through your teamies, see whose name you need to write down in the bottom to see if they're gonna be somebody you can work with to promote to um, certified or to promote to lead. Write those teamies down there, work with those teamies, but the bottom part is your worksheet. Okay, and you need to do that. You need to completely fill it in as if tomorrow <laughs> is January the 30th and you got two more days to go and that whole thing needs to be filled out. Okay, that's your plan, that's your game plan. And knowing what your game plan is and knowing that you, what you have to do each month, if you're a little bit short on each month, then you know you got to work extra hard the next month to make that up for where you didn't hit that goal down there. So that's the incentive. It's totally doable for everybody. Don't let those numbers scare you. Make a game plan and stick to it. And I'm sure that you guys will, and we're all gonna be here to help each other anyhow. So we'll, we'll all be in Hawaii together. Orlando, you choose Orlando. That's right. That's yep. right. Either one. Okay. So like I said, this was going to go a little bit over tonight, over nine o'clock, because I really want you guys to understand that we are putting everything in place to help you guys. So there's not one person in our group, our great big, huge group that is not getting the opportunity to have accountability, to have training and to go after this trip. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not going to sit here and go, everybody or anybody can get this. Whenever you are working for something, it's going to be hard. And the things that you do that are hard will be worth it, right? If it was all easy, everybody would be doing it. But we have put together three different programs that you can choose your path. You can choose, if you just want that luggage, then go after that luggage. If you want Orlando for one or um, Hawaii for one, go after that. If you want to go straight to Hawaii with a guest, or if you want to go to Bora Bora, then put it all in. But I heard it said the other day, and I really appreciated it when I heard this, because I get sick of leaders saying anybody and everybody can do it. And then whenever you have that false expectation that anybody and everybody can do it, and you don't hit it, you get down on yourself. I heard it the other day that someone was said that it's hard to get here. It takes hard work. It's going to take um, discipline. It's going to take accountability and it's going to take showing up. And if you're not willing to do those things, then, then the trip wouldn't be as important to you. I know that sounds hard, but I watched a girl's training and she said she had the best sponsoring she's ever had in her whole company when she finally came out and said, I would love for you guys to be here on this trip. But facts and the statistics are that you won't be because only a certain percentage will be here and they're going to be the people who are hungry they're going to be the people who are going to work hard they're going to be the people who really want this and they have a why and they have this trip down deep in their heart that they really want to be here and they'll do the things to get there because she said when she put it out there the ones that were hungry were like oh no I'm going to be there with you you're not going to tell me I'm not going to be there I'm going to be there and when I heard her say it, I was like, mm, I'd be there with you too, girl, because it's important to me. And when it's important to me, I show up. The WAMS are something we've done before. The WAMS is an eight-week meetup with other consultants. It's a group accountability and it only lasts 30 minutes. And then you have a skill to work on each week to help you have growth in your business, recruit. Um, have the selling conversations and to just be able to be accountable for the work you're doing. So this, the whams can get you easily to the trip, but this is like the easiest thing that you could possibly do if you need some kind of accountability. Okay. The second thing is elite. We've been running elite for almost eight years now with elite. I have success rates after this, I'll tell you about, but it's an eight week growth program. There's weekly homework that is required. It's serious inquiries only because if you don't turn in your homework, you get kicked out of the program. And we have to do that because if we start out with 100, and we always start out with 150 or so people. We always end at the end at graduation 
with maybe 21, 30 people because you're able to see who will stick with it and who will do the work. And then we'll have a graduation, Dan and the home office helps us with it. Um, it's momentum building. It's every single Tuesday night for eight weeks. It starts August 15th. Eight weeks of your Tuesday nights will be listening to some kind of training, implementing that homework that week, and then moving on to the next thing. You don't get the link unless you do the homework. It's just like accelerated leadership that Sensi does. If you sign up for it and you do your homework, they send you the next thing. If you don't do your homework, they don't send it to you and you're out of the program. I used to be very lenient. I used to make let people make excuses. But if the trip is really important to you, I need you to give me permission to be able to hold you accountable. Okay. The third thing is Law Lima Hustlers. Law Lima actually means like, I think it means Hawaii or Hawaiian or something um, in Hawaii. And, and um, eight superstar directors have come together and put together this program. It's an earn a trip program. If you do every single thing that we tell you to do, then most likely you are going to earn the trip. It's going to run from August to January. It's going to run the whole trip period. It's going to be on the first of every month with one of those SSDs. There's going to be a monthly challenge and prizes and an accountability group chat with rank. So if you're a star director, you're going to be with other star directors. If you are a director, you're going to be with other directors. If you're a star consultant, you're with other star consultants. So you do not have to do any of these or you don't have to do all of these, or you can do all of these. I'm going to be in each one of these because I'm doing all that I can to be able to help and to be able to train other people. But if you want to start out small, you can start out, you know, saying, I just want to do whams. I don't want to have homework. I don't want to, you know, be held accountable. I don't want to do this. But I'm telling you guys, you will never know unless you try. And I see people all the time earn trips that go, I never thought I could do it. But when I showed up, I asked the questions, I heard the no's, I went, you know, into that obstacle course that I thought was so scary. It was so worth it. I'm never missing another trip. Every person on here who has earned a trip with Sensi, I guarantee you're like, I don't want to miss another one. And when you do miss it, you're like, oh, I'm not going to miss the next one because you know how good Sensi is to us. And you know, they give us those trips in a way that we could never do it ourselves. I mean, I'm used to going on Cincy trips and then Steve will take me somewhere and I'll be like, one time I picked up the phone to call room service. We didn't have room service. It was, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we're absolutely blessed to have a company like that because um, they just give it to you in a way that you wouldn't be able to do it. So on our group page, you saw the picture of the eight superstar directors and the form to fill out if you want to be in this. It's not going to be as hard as elite. It's only going to be, and you're accountable really to yourself, and you're going to be in your accountability group with your like rank. So it's not going to be hard. Elite, I'm telling you right now, is going to be momentum building, and you will see a difference. So that being said, our success rates with the WAMs, last time that we did a WAM, um, I guess it was in the spring, we had the following promotions. We had 96 people that were in this WAM community. We had one star director, four directors, 12 superstar consultants, six star consultants, and 22 lead consultants. Over half of the participants had growth in their business from having an accountability group, a weekly meetup accountability group. If you do the WAMs, we have many, many times that you can choose from. So it's not something that's going to be exactly at Tuesday at eight o'clock that you have to do. You will have other choices. Elite, the hard one I told you about, I hate to use hard, but it is hard work. Um, we always have at least one to two promotion, not promotions, but promotions in, like if somebody starts out as an essential, they usually end up at an elite. If somebody starts out as a certified, they usually end up like at a star. So they usually go about two levels up. We had eight directors that came out of it and 16 superstar consultants. And we started with like a hundred and some, and we ended up with only like 40 left. So it's the one that we people out and it gets eliminated. But if you stick with it, you will see growth. Um, I've spelled that wrong. But like I said, it starts high with a big count of people. And then the people who remain are the ones that promote. 
Okay. I made this, um, I put this in the calendar. Well, it did look good, but now it's all jumbled. But somebody made this monthly calendar, which um, we're trying to get the Canva link. But I was just showing you that if you decided that you wanted to do all three and you wanted to try this out, it would look like this. Your elites would be on each Tuesday starting the 15th for eight weeks. Your Lalizima or Lalima Zoom would only be on the first of every month, but in August, we're going to have it on the fourth because today's the first, so we didn't have time to put it together. We're still going to have our team meetings, um, but we'll move them to Monday nights because Elite's going to take them for eight weeks, and our team meetings are going to be every other week for people who aren't interested in running you know, quickly towards the prize, and you just want to say a hobbyist, and you just want to do this part-time, and maybe you're not ready for this. But I believe if you don't try, you'll never know. And we've never had three trainings back to back to be able to help you earn this trip. You can have one-on-one -on -one accountability talks. You can have um, coaching calls and you just let us know what you need and we're there for you. So for example, I put my goals at the bottom that you know this month I wanted to have 2,500 PRV and four recruits. Um, I've already, I'm gonna have two tomorrow. And then I'm hoping to have at least two or three more because just like Michelle, I'm looking at my customers who buy a lot. I'm looking at the people who are ready around fall to be able to buy all the presents. And I'm looking for people who want to fill a gap of some sort, some kind of problem solving. I was sharing it the other day that um, there was a girl that I was talking to. And this is how easy it is to sponsor guy, um, guys, because... Um, I hate to say it's easy to sponsor, but it's easy to build relationships. Let's just say that. I was talking to a girl. I tried to get her to join like five times. She told me no, five times in a row. Finally, I asked her what her problem area was. She told me what her problem area was, had nothing to do with Sensi, had nothing to do with products, had nothing to do with anything that I could help her with. It was her weight and, and the way she felt about her energy. So if I was someone who sold health and wellness, I probably could have had her on my team right then, but I couldn't help her. So um, I told her some of the things that I've done and I could just tell she was really sad. Well, I found a tea that I like and it's just like a GNC and I picked up some like on the side of a, um, a main street in Fuqua Marina and it had little tea thing that you could put into like a, a mug. And I called her and I was just like, hey, I thought about you. This is supposed to be a natural energy tea and it's supposed to help with weight loss. I've actually done it a couple of times and it makes me feel better. I thought I'd share it with you. And she just started like, I, I can't even explain. She was like, you did that for me? I'm like, yeah. She goes, why? I said, because I, I didn't like that you had the problem and I wanted to help you. And so she called me a little bit later on in the day and told me that her husband, she told her husband and her husband says, I told you that they care. I see them do things. I see like teams do things together and they do care about each other. It's not something that's false. And so she said, I'm considering joining you guys' team. Had nothing to do with the products, had nothing to do with the money, had nothing to do with the trips. It had to do with the made it made her feel. So building those relationships are super important and making people feel valued and making them understand um, that they have a place in this world and that we make a difference. And we're going to put all of this stuff on the page so you guys will know. But um that is all that we have. Are there any questions right now about anything? Thank you guys for hanging in here so long. And Go ahead. I wanted to read this because I, I wanted to know what that word meant. Um, Lalima. Um, Lalima is the Hawaiian word meaning many hands. Many hands. Many hands. Cooperating and working together. Law means much and very many, and Lima means hands. As one of the Hawaii's core values, La Lima encourages us to work together for a greater cause. I love it. I knew that we came up with it for a reason, but I couldn't remember what it said. And we're gonna yeah. actually give the intro and everything um, whenever we do the thing. So why don't you guys tell me real quick in the chat, what are you interested in? Are you interested in going to Hawaii? going to Orlando, getting the luggage. What are you interested in your business? Like right now, just put it in the chat. I just, I want to know what it is. So we'll know how to help you. Um, oh, and I wanted to say something real quick. Yeah, you go ahead. A little funny joke. 
So my aha, one of my aha moments is I am, I found out that I'm not, I don't always get my way. Hence, we're going to Orlando. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I want to go to Hawaii. Hawaii for sure. (laughs) Yeah. So she was upset because she wanted to go to Vegas. I sure did. I sure did. I wanted to go to Vegas so bad. Yeah, and then I, and then I think Katie's up here. She really busted my bubble. She's like, "Do you really think that we're gonna go to Sin City after Ormond and Heidi has been on a missionary trip for three years?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, she she did not have my back on on that. Like that hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, we got we got your face too when they when they said Orlando. Stephanie I was like, got your face. Shit. <laughs> That is so funny. Another well, cool. one of the things to remember about the incentive is you can't earn re- just registration with this one. Okay, so that's not that's not an option this year, and it has always been an option for level one to be able to at least get SFR registration for that. That is not um, an option this time. It's the luggage um, that they have is um, incentive uh, level one level one earners. And um, a little thing that we kind of thought about, because a lot of times people that don't like to sponsor don't sponsor. So they're always saying, well, there's no way I'm going to hit this incentive because I'm not going to sponsor. And if you notice, level one has 500 uh, sponsoring points. How many points do you get for going to world tour? 500 points. And last year, those points were applied to your sponsoring. So I don't know they're going to do that. I'm just thinking about it out loud in my head because that's what they did before. If you went to World Tour, you got 500 sponsoring points. So for those people that don't want to sponsor and they just want to work their business, um, there might still be a way for you to earn the level one and to earn that luggage um, and get that. So just keep that in the back of your mind. I'm not saying that they're going to do that. Don't go say Michelle said that you're going to give me those points for sponsoring because I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's how mine and Katie's mind was working. Hey. Well, well, maybe they'll do that again this year. <laughs> hey, do they, um, so if you get the trip, do you still get the luggage? No. Uh. No. no. So I, got another, I got another quick question because it made me think about it. Since they're not offering registration for level one, like they always have, do you think registration is going to be a lot more this time? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's going to cost, normally it's been about 325 So I'm wondering if it's not going to be more around 500 to go. Or do you I think they'll keep it the same? I think they'll keep it the same. They're looking at having 20,000 people there. And okay. Well, like that up the 20. I mean, even when we went to Columbus to Disneyland um, in Anaheim, and even when we went to Disneyland, we got a full day at Disneyland. Um, All the consultants that went got a full day at Disneyland. We got so many giveaways. Like we got Mickey, we got a whole full set of tester. I mean, we got uh, Cincy Go. We got so many giveaways at that one and our still I think it was 325 or 350 yeah, for what their still was so was I don't 325 know. early bird and then 350 after that yeah now, we're not getting a whole day at universal right that's just going to be like a nightly like a like a few hours for a party is that what it is yeah they've done the um like when they did Disney and they did Hollywood what what is what is the name of that park Hollywood Studios, they did Hollywood Studios. Studios. we had it like from four until like 11 at night and we could oh, wow. and okay. do everything. And so they'll probably do something like that. Um, so it's going to be at like a convention center like the rest of the days? Yeah, it's going to be at the Orlando Convention Center. It's huge. Orange, yeah. huge. Orange, Orange I've County. never been to Florida. I'm real excited. And the <laughs> and whenever we went to Kansas City, they bust us in to like the um, Ugh, Kansas City. Royal, is it the Royals? The Royals game. And um, yeah. So I'm sure they're going to like have a, I will never forget that SFR Shannon. You don't want to ever miss, especially this one with Heidi and Orville coming back. This is going to mm-hmm. be, it's going to be awesome. So mm-hmm. the luggage is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love the luggage. I wish I had another set, but, um, because we can get them. Now. Yep. 
Go ahead and start saving. Go ahead. Because you know it's going to be 350. Go ahead and start saving that money because yeah. it, it's so worth it. But um, if you guys, you know, or when you guys earn the trip to Hawaii, you will never want to miss another one. I'm telling you, I have heard the things they are going to do. And oh my gosh, it is exciting. I told Steven, he was like, oh, Shannon, you got to get that. You got to get that. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do my best. You know, but Bye. I'm speaking it because I'm going to get it. But he, he, do you ever get nervous that you won't get it, Shannon? Do you ever have well, thoughts yeah, like that? But I track, I track my stuff like Michelle. And so if I am low in points, I would just start messaging. I mean, I have gone to people's houses and I'm like, here, smell the sense. I'll be back in the morning. Let me know what you want. Here, smell the sense. Let me know what you want. Here, call your mom and your sister and see what you got. I'm only $3,000. I mean, I'm serious. Like, I go into like turbo mode to make sure that my customers get something from me because I'll have like mystery parties. I'll get all these orders and then the free stuff and the half off stuff, you know, I'll, I'll like, you know, draw, make drawings and people can have it for helping me get things. So I usually um, earn the trip by December, by end of November, December, because I try and get my sponsoring points out of the way before December and January, because that's gonna be the mm -hmm. hardest time to sponsor is around Christmas and um, January. Because is it easier to, to like sponsor now? Yes. It's so easy to sponsor in August, September, and October, even November. I mean, yeah. it is not hard. People say, oh, I need $80 worth. You're like, oh, well, you're only $120 away from having a $200 party. By the way, you unlock the kit. I mean, I'll just send them a picture of the kit unlocked whenever I'm putting their party and say, look what you did. You unlocked the kit. And then or, you can say, or you can say, hey want to get um a few of your friends together and get a few orders together and um get your kit for no um your host rewards and get four paychecks before christmas how would you like to have a debt-free christmas is that right. yes and if you guys need help with anything when you're doing these programs everybody's there i definitely help. need to do one i know that so just um, if somebody asked when Elite is going to start. Elite is going to start August 15th. I'll have all the information at the end of the week and I'll have it out there for you guys to sign up. Shannon, so. do you think we could do the next team trainings on um, parties? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And a lot of different types of parties and how to book parties and stuff like that. Because um, yeah. I have some of my teamies that are saying that they struggle and I struggle with that. Sorry, I do, I do struggle with getting parties. Um, but getting parties and um, boosting their PRV because we're going to have to boost that PRV. This is the time that we're going to have to do this. So I have some teamies that are asking that. So if we can yeah. brainstorm together on different party types. Yeah. And I know that Annette, she's still on here, Annette and Marcy and all of us OGs who have been here for a while and we do all the party and we can show you guys all the things that we do. Whenever we, um, whenever we were in a uh, reunion, we played a bunch of home party games and I gave everybody a big list of home party games. So we can put that on here as well. But um, anyway, so okay. I don't want to run over. So I do have a fun um, drawing. It's from something that we got at Reunion. And uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to comment underneath the Zoom on the group page or Michelle, if you want to put people in yours, they can put it on your page um, or any of the directors. Just let me know who enters it. And I want you to put where you want to go. That's it. I want you to say either Hawaii, Orlando, or luggage. That's what I want to know. Luggage or Orlando or Hawaii. Any of those um, words will put you into the drawing for our Zoom tonight. So does anybody have any questions or anything before we get off? Thank you so much for hanging in here so long. I just want to say, um, don't be afraid to ask your customers, like set goals and say, this is what I'm doing. Last night, I was like $88 away from a huge month and I it was like 11 o'clock my time and I was like hey I I need help and I had orders like within minutes and so I'm always afraid to ask but don't be afraid to ask because the people that buy from you do want to help you so I agree 100 percent 100 percent so well thank you guys for being on here tonight um also remember buddy drive the buddy drive is going to start up again that's going to give you PRV points. So if the more people you talk to about buying buddies, dollar for dollar, you're going to get, unless it's Disney, I guess Disney is a little bit different, but um, yes, that's going to Where be. Where do we comment, Shannon? 
comment underneath. You're going to go to our Facebook page and the group Facebook page, and you'll see this Zoom on there where I'm streaming it on there and comment underneath that. Okay. So that way. Um, and I for my people them. that are still on here, I'll share the recording when Shannon sends it to me and you can comment under there. Yeah, and that shouldn't be long at all because it's recording now. So, all righty. Well, I guess we're going to Hawaii, y'all, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, let me know what um, group you're going to be in. Go ahead and fill out the form for the La Lima if you're going to do that. We're cutting it off at the end of the week. We've already got 500 people in there and we're all freaking out because we're like, holy cow. Um, so that would be awesome if everything one of them, you know, does Hawaii. If you want to do the WAMs, you're going to see the sign up for the WAMs. And then Elite, you'll see that too. So you can do one or you don't have to do any or you can do all of them. It doesn't matter. So whatever it is that you guys want to do. Okay. Y'all have a great night and um, I'll get this recording out and we will do the drawing as soon as Michelle gets her stuff up on her page tomorrow. We'll probably do it the next day. Okay. Bye. Bye.